Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to talk about UiPath Browser Migration Tool. In this video, I will tell you what is this UiPath Browser Migration Tool, how to download this tool, how to use UiPath Browser Migration Tool and what are the things that you need to take care while, while using Browser Migration Tool. So, I know that everyone who is using IE browser in their project, they need, they need to migrate their project from IE browser to Edge browser or Chrome or any other browser. So first I'm going to show you here. This is the project that I am using Yahoo Finance Data Extraction. In this one, I have used IE browser, Internet Explorer. Now I have a requirement to migrate this project migrate this to the edge browser let me first run that so that i can show you how it's it's working in the i browser so here, so here what will happen it will read all the company's name from excel and then here it will launch browser the i browser and it will it will enter here the company name in the search box it will search here and then it will extract previous close value and the open value now browser has been closed now let me show you so i have used here in the close application in the init up all application in the kill all process and in the process workflow in these workflows i have used uh, related to ie browser in this close application you will see i have this close application where I have used I browser in this init all application I have used this open browser activity where it is going to open I browser in the kill all process workflow I have taken here a kill process which has the process name IE Explorer in the process I have this attached browser which is using here browser type IE now let me close this and let me show you how to download UiPath browser migration tool so for that you have to open this UiPath orchestrator cloud.uipath.com you have to open this orchestrator and then click on this home button now this is your home page now you have to go right side here we have option resource center click on that and now you can see here scroll down we have UiPath tools click on this and now you can see we have a link that is browser migration tool click on that once you click on that it will start downloading this browser migration tool and it's available in the zip file click on open so we have this UiPath browser migration tool let me extract these files click OK now we have this here in the this folder now this is the application that we are going to use let me double click on this because this is application exe file and now you can see this is a UiPath browser migration tool that we are going to use to migrate the browser from IE to any destination browser so before using this UiPath browser migration tool you need to know about this UiPath browser migration we have a UiPath documentation for this conversion tool. It says that UiPath conversion tool is a standalone tool that converts the workflow using a target browser such as Internet Explorer, Chrome, Edge or Firefox. So this tool can be helpful when migrating workflows from the legacy Internet Explorer browser to newer browser or simply when you want to adapt your workflow to using another browser. So it says that it's not about like uh, migrating due to Internet Explorer is retiring on 15th June. You can also use this if you are planning to change your browser from um, 
chrome to edge or edge to chrome or chrome to firefox any so you can use this ui path conversion tool now one thing that you need to take care of here there are certain selectors type that cannot be automatically migrated with the use of this tool it means there are few selectors that cannot be automatically migrated with the use of this tool it means you have to manually uh, change that for example selectors you starting with wnd since those identify ui elements rendered differently by ie in comparison with edge chrome firefox so these selector have to be manually updated so if you have wnd in your selector so you have to take care of that you have to manually go and check that 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 has been updated or not if not you have to change that manually how the conversion tool works in order to migrate the workflows from using the one browser to other there are list of things that are done as follows so the html selectors are migrated by updating their app pro property so app means it will say that app equals to age or app equals to chrome browser like that now the conversion tool does not have a hundred percent success rate to get closure to such a rate it is recommended to perform validation on the migrated workflows so ui path is not saying that this is 100 percent success and also it says that if you have wnd in your selector you, you need to take care of that manually now let me show you let me take this example also so in the project folder if you'll see in the close all application just to explain you i have taken here two close application activity this one let me edit the selector in the first one we have this wnd app so it's it's going to consider this ie explorer as a window application it says that this is window application not html so if you are also going to highlight it's going to highlight the complete screen right the complete i browser now the second one that we have again it's going to highlight this i browser but here it's going to consider this as a html and title equal to same and web web control tag equal to html so ui pass says that wherever you have this wnd app in your selector in that case you need to manually update that now let me close this and so this is the project folder let me copy this now open this ui path browser migration tool here in the project folder you need to pass that project project folder that you want to migrate so i have this i have copied this i'm going to paste here right so this is the main folder the root folder of this project you need to copy that and paste here now here in the browser section we have source browser so we are going to migrate from ie to destination as a age if you want to change so you can put a chrome here so only it will change in the open browser it will say it browser type equal to chrome html app equal to it will also have in the selector html app equal to chrome like that so select here age i'm going to uh, migrate this to the age check this no problem it will replace with the destination browser if browser type is null so this is something uh, if you have seen that while opening the browser if you have or by attaching also if you miss to select browser type what happens like if you do not select any browser type by default like ui pass supports a, a, a native browser that is ie explorer so it opens automatically so if you have null if i not selected anything like chrome or ie there so it will replace with the edge browser now here we have in the general we have four options create a backup files enable logging override backup files open log file so let me explain everything so create backup files means if you will check this as i have shown you that in four workflows i have wave activities so there are four workflows that that will be changed so in this if you are using create backup file so those four workflows will be first placed in a other folder as a backup and then it will make changes to others now the second one is override backup files so if you have already a backup files available in this folder so it will first override that third option that is enable logging 
so it will start logging all the steps which uh, this migration tool will do it will say that okay uh, the previous value was this now uh, current value is this everything it will log now fourth that is open log file so if you have selected this checkbox uh, so after completing this it will open that log file so that you can see that preview changes so it will if you click on that it will start um, run the tool in the uh, changes mode and then it will give you uh, the log file so that you can see okay what we are going to get uh, after running this one now if we have a start so once you we'll click on start your browser will be migrated to the edge so let me click on start so we have total 13 xml file that have been now migrated now click ok now as we have selected here create backup file so you can see we have a backup folder that is conversion dot conversion underscore backup and in this one we have in the framework we have three workflow files where i have used browser activities that is close application init all application kill all process and here in the process right now second one we have override so this is the first time that's why it's not override now third enable logging so it has logged everything here in this conversion to log and fourth it has also opened this log file after completing this browser migration now let me close this now this is done so from here you can understand from the complete process what migration tool has completed you have this data here so browser type change count to selector change count to uh, there are two places where selector has been changed there are one click kill process activity which is changed there is no value there is no default variable count changed in the activity in the browser scope changed in the close application one one close application has been changed as you know that i have shown you two close application but only one has been changed one open browser has been changed one kill process has been changed so this is the from the activity perspective now in the file changes so process xml file has been changed and uh, here close application has been changed init all application has been changed and kill all process application has been changed so these four workflows changed now you can see in the process browser type change count one selector change one in the process also one one uh, kill process not there in the process workflow and variable not there browser scope yes so it changed and in the changes you can see what was the original value now what is the current value so previously the uh, the original value was this now it has changed this value putting this app app equal to msh dot exe now in the type one we have attached browser yahoo so it has also changed the browser type from ie early it was ie to age now uh, you can see project folders files have been updated now let me open this main now let me show you here in the init all application let me go to the here we have open browser activity where in the browser type we have age earlier it was ie now it is age now going to process workflow so in the process workflow also in the attached browser we have browser type age and in the selector also you can see we have app equal to ms age and these are the parcel selector so there is no change because it will take from this attached browser and let me go to close up all application workflow now in the close all application you can see here i have two close application activity in this one this one says that wnd app equal to ie explorer.exe so we have ie explorer.exe and here we have wnd so as you can see in this documentation that's why i had taken uh, other one so let me delete this is not required now now we have kill all process so in this one we have not used activity we have not used browser activity but yes we have used i explore here now this i explore so based on the process name also so the process name also changed from i explore to ms age so this kill activity 
is also updated by UI path migration tool and now let me run that and let's see it's working fine or not now it should open in the age now you can see here this MS age browser has been launched here Now you can also see that browser has been closed and process has been finished now. So now it worked fine with the MS Edge browser also. So by this way you can migrate your browser, migrate your process from one browser to other browser. I hope this is useful. If so, please like this video and please subscribe this channel and please share with your friend if they are looking for this type of video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn Blue Prism, please visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash Blue Prism RPA. And also if you want to learn Blue Prism from Udemy and you want to get certificate, you can search for my Blue Prism course there that is Blue Prism RPA complete course. I will also put the link in, in my video description. You can go through that there. Thank you.